Hey guys, uh, I know I'm always talking about the weight distribution hitch on your Jeep trailer tow rigs. I really think they're important. Um, they do a lot of stuff. Not only do they get the tongue weight um, distributed better, um, they actually help ride and they give you three points of contact and gets the wobble and helps with a little bit of the sway. Um, but it really gets, you know, um, good traction back to the front wheels of the truck. Um, and it helps. So just running airbags, you're just lifting the back of the truck up. You're really not. Um, it helps, but I think a weight distribution hitch actually does a better job than just standard airbags. And this is a 2500, and I still run this hitch, and it just makes the trip so much easier. I'm not fighting the trailer. Um, so I just wanted to go over how I set it up and just the basics. So um, let me go and get this arm in. So this is a really old kit. It was uh, gifted to me by my father-in-law has like a keyway at the top that locks into the top part. The new ones have like a pin and they're a lot easier. You just slide it up and you pop a pin in place. But if you can see, I don't know if you can see from the video, but the arms are kind of pointing down at the ground. They're on an angle. So you see that. But the first step to doing this is you want to get the trailer level. So as big as this truck is, and I run oversized tires, I had to get a drop down hitch. Um, I think that was like 60 bucks. I got it off of Amazon, but it allows me to lower the weight distribution hitch to get the trailer level. So, you know, put a level out here on the frame rail of the trailer, get it nice and level, figure out which holes you need to use on your, uh, your drop down hitch for the weight distribution part of the hitch. Um, and then the next thing you need to do is in this hole is a little peg that's got washers on it, spacers that allow you to lean the distribution hitch back. So if you can see, I'm kind of part of my drive, but it makes it a little hard, but these arms are on an angle. Um, the trailer's level, there's no um, weight on the jack. The jack's all the way up. So the weight right now is just on the back of the truck. And the trailer looks pretty level. And you see the arms are flat. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start to crank this trailer up I'm going to lift the truck and the trailer up at the same time and as you notice the arms are going to start to lean up instead of down. And what we're doing by lifting the truck and trailer together with those arms like that is we're generating preload on the arms when we lock them to our brackets. And you know you got to get it pretty high, you can watch it's going up. And you'll want to play around with this adjustment, whatever you think is the right preload. Again, this is an older style. The newer style have like a pin that the chain link goes over and they've got a rod that helps you pop them over. I've done this enough that I know that I need three links showing. So I'm at three links. The, the higher you crank it and the closer you get the arms to the bottom of the rails of the trailer, the easier it is to lock your brackets in. Okay, now we've got our links, our distribution bars locked into our brackets. When you set this up, you know, make sure your brackets are you know, as close to center line with the link mount on the actual distribution bar. That's just part of it. But then I'm gonna lower it. And as I lower it, those arms aren't gonna be able to go back down. So they kind of act like wheelbarrow handles. They kind of pick up on the back of the truck and push down on the front of the truck. So what you've done is put those high strength steel arms that are they're kind of bendable you know what I mean they're kind of like a leaf spring or something you put them in a, a preload you bound them up so like you know there's a little bit of slop in a hitch re and receiver I can't get anything in between the top of the hitch and the top of the receiver but there is a gap at the bottom now because these arms are picking up and creating um, like I said preload but that's how you set those up. I see a lot of guys just, they don't know that you need this, that this hitch is slotted so you can roll it back. 
and then put spacers in it so you can get the arms at an angle so you can get them when you jack it up you can get that preload in your bars most of the time I see a weight distribution hitch going down the road um, the arms are flat there's no bow in them so I know it's not doing any good they just got a weight distribution hitch hooked up they're not even using it for what it's designed to be used for um, and then once you get that done go ahead and crank your jack all the way up and get it out of the way it's nice because there is a lot of lifting and using a jack. An electric jack's really nice on you know the more expensive trailers, but in a six by six block, keep it with you, throw it in the bed of your truck. Um, another thing, make sure you note the placement of your um, chains, safety chains. I always run them on the outside. Um, I actually ran them on the inside, broke the link off. I mean, it just kind of sheared it off. And the last part of the hitch system that I like to run is the anti-sway bar. So you've got a ball on your weight distribution hitch. Most weight distribution hitch have a, uh, a hole for this ball. Um, this one, like I said, it's old school system is already on it. And then you buy the sway bar kit and it comes with a plate and another ball and another ball to go in that hole that's on your weight distribution hitch. And what it is is this piece slides in and out. Well, you tighten it up with this plate and as you tighten it, it squeezes and then you can't move it. On each side of this silver arm is brake, uh, like brake caliper materials. So it works really nice to get it locked in. And uh, you know, if I'm just cruising around town, I kind of leave it loose because it is gonna groan and make noise. But uh, go ahead and once you get rolling and once you get going down the interstate, tighten it up the best you can. That system is really gonna uh, Leave it loose. You gotta go get these cotter pins. So there, these quick pins. Um, but once you're going down the interstate, now that you've got this piece here and here, and it's out, and you tighten it up, and you get going down the interstate, that's gonna stop your trailer from doing this behind the truck. It just makes it nice. Um, pulling the trailer at, uh, a long distance can wear you out more than just driving. But getting a hitch system and a sway control system. It really works well with your trailer and getting it dialed in for the load that you're pulling really makes your trip um, easy um, it makes it nice um, and it's just a lot safer that way too so you guys check these out um, this thing came from Harbor Freight it's just like the Reese ones um, that I've noted know, um, and they Harbor Freight also sells a, uh, a weight distribution hitch I'm not a huge Harbor Freight guy but I think because it is a uh, a DOT item it's something that you're going to use to go down the road to pull a lot of load with I think they have higher standards on it and they've got a pretty good price point on it and you get one of those 25% off coupons and you're in there with one so check them out or if you're a Reese guy or a Kirk guy or whatever just go get one but there's all different types um, there's tons of uh, manufacturers videos on how to actually set one of these up properly I just gave you the basic rundown on how to do it and uh, but once you get it set up and dialed in I think you'll really enjoy having this um, it just makes pulling your Jeep a whole lot easier. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your time.